Hello, my name is Gentry and I am the Director of Marketing here at the Mini Time Machine Museum of Miniatures and I'm going to be reading a story today in front of Cauldron Coven. And as you can see behind me, this is a rather large dollhouse filled with lots of spooky stuff. Perfect for setting for our story today. So let's get started. The story I'm going to be reading is called I Am a Witch's Cat. And this was written and illustrated by Harriet Muncaster. And what's interesting is these aren't illustrations like you might normally think of them. They're not drawings. What Harriet does is she creates miniature sets out of paper and fabric and other materials and then photographs them to create the illustrations for her books. So let's see what that looks like. My mom is a witch, and I am her special witch's cat. I know my mom is a witch because she keeps lots of strange potion bottles in the bathroom that I am not allowed to touch. And when we go shopping, she buys jars of eyeballs and green fingers. But I don't mind because she is a good witch. I know my mom is a witch because she grows magical herbs in the garden. And then she uses them to make bubbling, hissing potions. Sometimes she lets me stir. Being a witch's cat is a very important job. I know my mom is a witch because when her friends come over, they sit in a circle and cackle and swap spell books. They pat my head and say, my, how you've grown. And I purr to show them how much I love being a witch's cat. I know my mom is a witch because whenever I hurt myself, she magics it all better. Sometimes witches' cats have to be very brave. I know my mom is a witch because once a week she gets out her broomstick and whirls it around my room. Sometimes she lets me have a ride. That is the best thing about being a witch's cat. On Friday nights, my mom goes out and the babysitter comes. I don't mind because the babysitter is nice. She lets me watch TV and eat popcorn until it is time to go to bed. I don't know where my mom goes. She's always my mom, but I think that sometimes she just needs a break from being a witch. So that was I Am a Witch's Cat by Harriet Muncaster. As you can see, Cauldron Coven is quite large. It's actually several dollhouse kits put together. It was created by our museum founder, Patricia Arnell, and it took her over 10 years to complete it. We're looking at the front side right now, where you can see all sorts of interesting things going on. There's a skeleton in the window. There's a headless horseman. There's a cat playing a fiddle. There's all sorts of mice dressed up for Halloween in various states of trick-or-treating. This entire complex is actually made up of a few different houses. Inside this case are also Vincent's Interiors, a monkey house, and the Bewitching Spa. So today we read I Am a Witch's Cat by Harriet Muncaster, and we saw a little bit of the front side of Cauldron Coven. But if you join me next time, 
I'll read the follow-up book, Happy Halloween, Witch's Cat by Harriet Muncaster, and I'll take you on a tour inside the Cauldron Coven. See you then.